Hello everybody. Uh, this afternoon I'm going to demonstrate the difference between the light coming from an incandescent light bulb and the light coming from a fluorescent light bulb. Now an incandescent light bulb consists of a small tungsten filament, and I have a clear one here. You can see the filament, and I'm going to turn this one on, you'll see. There's a glow. Um, the electrons go through the filament very quickly and heat up the filament and it produces a glow. The fluorescent light bulb does not have a, a filament. In the case of the fluorescent light bulb, electrons go through the tube very quickly and they strike atoms, excite those atoms, and cause them to emit light. And there are various kinds of atoms in this fluorescent light bulb. Um, there's mercury and some rare gases and some other things. And these gases, when they become excited, emit light of specific wavelengths. And you'll see a demonstration of that when I uh, let the light come through a small slit in the door and pass the light through a grating and disperse it into its component wavelengths. So in, uh, I'll set this up and you'll see uh, the difference between light coming from an incandescent light bulb and light coming from a fluorescent light bulb. Hello everybody. You're looking at light coming through a door, uh, the slit uh, door that's was closed in the hallway, and that light is from an incandescent bulb. And I wanted to show you today the difference between an in the light that comes from an incandescent bulb and the light that comes from a fluorescent bulb. So I'm going to take that light and I'm going to pass it through a grating. I'm going to put a grating in front of the webcam and let's see what happens. And you can see that the light is dispersed into a continuous, beautiful spectrum that goes from the blue to the green to the red. And uh, that's the spectrum of the light emitted from a, an incandescent bulb. An incandescent bulb is simply a tungsten filament with electrons going through it real fast. And uh, it heats it up to a, a point where it glows and it gives off light. And that light is called black body radiation. It also gives off a lot of heat. And that's why it's not very efficient. So let me take the grating out and put it back in. Okay. All right, next I'm going to go out into the hallway and replace that incandescent bulb with a fluorescent bulb. The kind that you see that goes into a regular socket. It's got kind of a helical appearance. I'm sure you've seen them. Many of you must use them. So if you give me a minute, I'm going to make a switch and we'll see the contrast between the fluorescent light bulb, the light from a fluorescent light bulb and one from a, an incandescent light bulb. Okay, that's light from a fluorescent light bulb. Let me try the grating. Beautiful. Okay, so when the light from the fluorescent light bulb goes through the grating, the grating's in there now. Let me get it lined up right. You see a spectrum, but the spectrum shows discrete lines. Um, blue and yellow, uh, green and red. Very specific lines. It's it, it's uh, nicer to see directly rather than through the webcam, but that's not a bad uh, image of the light from the fluorescent light bulb. Fluorescent light uh, in a light bulb occurs when atoms in the light bulb are excited by fast-moving electrons, 
and then they make transitions from their excited state down to their initial state, ground state, and give off specific colors. So each of those colors is characteristic of uh, a specific atom. I know that there are mercury atoms and uh, rare gas atoms in that uh, light bulb, and uh, the combination of those colors jo join together to give you the appearance of the white light on the left. So the, the combination of the blue and the green and the reds uh, give you a image of, of uh, white light. The advantage of the fluorescent bulb is that it doesn't give off as much heat, and the heat uh, is really wasted energy. We, we want light from a light bulb, not heat, and uh, so they use much less uh, uh, wattage uh, to produce the same amount of light as an incandescent light bulb, so they're much more efficient. Uh, thank you for your attention, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this little presentation.